Hello friend, today we shall talk about a topic system integration testing or SIT. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, testing, software testing and you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. Basically friend, system integration testing <coughs> is a type of testing where individual components of a system are tested together to ensure they work as a cohesive unit. Basically, the goal is to verify that different modules or services within the system interact correctly. So, if we talk about a uh, sample scenario, imagine you have an e-commerce platform <coughs> that includes various components such as user management system which manages user registration and login, product catalog which means store and displays product information, shopping cart which handles adding, removing and managing products in a user's cart, payment gateway uh, which process the payments here uh, friend basically the steps involved in system integration testing are prepare the environment means set up a testing environment that mirrors the production environment as closely as possible this includes database servers network configuration it also define the test cases create a test case that covers the interaction between different components focus on how data flows from one part of the system to another then execute tests means run the test cases to ensure that the components work together as expected and then log and analyze the results means record the outcomes of the test identify any issues and analyze the results to determine if the system is functioning correctly now we can talk about detailed example user registration and adding products to cart here the test case is basically a new user register on the platform, logs in, browses the product catalog and adds a product to their shopping cart. So here the steps involved are the user registers using the user management system. The system stores the user information in the database. The user logs in and is author authenticated by the user management system. The user browses the product catalog and selects a product. The product details are retrieved from the product catalog and displayed. The user adds the product to their shopping cart and the shopping cart components update accordingly. Then checkout and payment means the user proceeds to checkout, selects a payment method and completes the purchase. The steps involved are the user reviews the items in the shopping cart and proceeds to checkout. The system retrieves the user's detail and the items in the cart. <coughs> The user selects a payment method and the system sends the payment details to the payment gateway. The payment gateway processes the payment and returns a success or failure response. If the payment is successful, the system updates the order status and generates a confirmation message for the user. Now here why a system integration testing is important. First one, it verifies that different components work together as intended detects problem that occur at the points where components interact ensures that data is correctly passed between components helps to deliver a more reliable and integrated system key points to remember here are SIT test interactions between multiple components within a system it focuses on the interfaces and data flow between these components it is typically performed after individual components have been unit tested. It can be done in phases starting with integrating a few components and gradually including more as testing progresses. So by performing system integration testing, you ensure that all parts of your system work together harmoniously, leading to a more stable and reliable product for end users. So friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video.